Hey guys, this is Pokemon Bloody Platinum, video number 49. In the last video, we arrived here in the Distortion World, and we basically spent that video trying to find our way over here to where it is we needed to go, where Cyrus is. We had little hints along the way, the, the three Uxi people, Azelf, Mesprit. We'd see Giratina flying around, we'd, we'd see Cyrus walking around, Cynthia. But anyway... Cyrus is like, you are not going to destroy my new world. So we're going to battle him. He's not a Tower Tycoon, but, you know, whatever. He's got the sprite of that Tower Tycoon, I guess. Anyway, he sends out Ursaring. He always leads off with Ursaring, which I, I should realize by now. I don't know why I don't lead off with Dan when I'm fighting him, but... He leads off with Ursaring. I'm going to recall Norbert and uh, send in Dan, although I probably just should have stuck with Norbert. Norbert probably could have handled it. Norbert's pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. Norbert's like, rah, Norbert. But anyway, I send in Dan. Uh, Ursaring doesn't attack Dan. Dan gets a close combat. And it works. Super effective. And his, his stuff goes down. Special death fell. Oh. But now he's asleep, I guess, thanks to his yawn. So next is Gliscor, and, uh, yeah, Dan's got the Ice Punch, but, uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to go into Bzzzt to have him use Surf. Ice Punch would have been really freaking effective, but I don't know, that Gliscor might have been able to outspeed Dan and get an Earthquake off. He's gonna get an Earthquake off here, but hopefully maybe Bzzz can can take it, because he's got the high HP, so... Oh, come on. Stop. Stop! No! No! Oh! 15, that's great. Alright, surf. Alright. He's down in the yellow. And I think I'm going to use this opportunity to wake up Dan. Because Dan needs to be woken up. He's like, oh, I'm asleep! So he needs to be woken up. Wake up! Bzzzt. No, bzzzt. you're already awake. I'm just gonna let you die by the earthquake. All right, waking up, Dan. Hopefully, Dan will outspeed it. And if he can't, hopefully the earthquake won't knock him out. Even though it's super effective. I'm hoping Dan has. Like some epic defense. Oh, come on, stop. Stop! No! <sighs> That's stupid. Dan fainted. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna send in Sabrina now. Hopefully, Sabrina's. Okay, she outsped him, but hopefully that'll knock it out. She's got really high special attack, but still. Got some levels. Yes! Awesome. I should have just sent in Sabrina from the get-go instead of instead of Dan. Next he's going to send in Shedinja. And I think I'll stick with Sabrina actually. Sabrina's got Shadow Ball, which uh, Shedinja is weak to, which means it will actually hit Shedinja. Shedinja is Ghost slash Bug, and because of its Wonder Guard ability, it can only be hit by moves that it is weak to. So like, you know, Ghost is weak to Ghost. So that's why X scissor hit him. If I had tried to use Psychic, it wouldn't have worked. But, uh, yeah, he used X scissor, which sucks, because Sabrina's really weak to that. So let's see, I need to send in Foxy. That'll work, because Foxy's a fire type, and Bug is weak to fire. Oh, but Foxy's got Payback, Dark type, so... Ghost is weak to Payback, so that works too. And there went all of Shedinja's 1 HP. It's always holding a Focus Sash that his... Shedinja is, but I mean, you just you just gotta go for it. All right, so Foxy, switch out, come back, go, Norbert. Drapion is a Pokemon that I have had trouble with in this LP because I don't have anything to anything that it's it's weak to on my team. Drapion is Poison slash Dark, so. 
the dark type offsets the psychic type weakness that poison has and and uh, the poison offsets the bug and fighting type weakness that dark has so really the only thing it's weak to is ground and I don't have any ground type Pokemon or ground type moves in my team so I just gotta go in with power which is what Norbert is power I'm gonna have to uh, I'll probably end up going to find the earthquake TM which in itself is an adventure Th that earthquake TM is pretty well guarded so uh, I'll probably just make a video about that going to find the TM for earthquake um, but yeah earthquake is awesome I mean it's just awesome I'm not gonna lie it's awesome okay Anyway, use the max potion on Norbert. I think Norbert's holding the lucky egg. Or no, Norbert isn't holding the lucky egg, because back it, it got the same amount of experience that uh, Dan got before. I don't know who's holding the lucky egg. Maybe Sabrina. I don't know. But you know what? I, I think... I think that brings me to my question of the day, actually, to be honest. Um, my question of the day for Bloody Platinum 49, I just came up with it, is what is your favorite hold item? Like, what is your favorite item for a Pokemon to hold, like, for a battle? Mine is the Lucky Egg, because, I mean, you, get, you just get more experience that way. They grow quicker. So, that's my answer to the question. So, what is your favorite... Pokemon hold item. Um, answer in the comments. Mine's the lucky egg. Because, like, there's all kinds of different hold. Like, I know a lot of people like the Evial Eviolite in Gen 5. I know that's a popular one in, uh, in, like, Wi Fi battles. Um, you know, some people like the amulet coins so they can get all the money. Um, you know, citrus berries are popular. Lum berries. Um, white herb that restores like status status conditions yeah there, there's a bunch of them out there and then all like you know the, the the choice scarfs and choice bands and all that stuff yeah anyway yeah sorry about that what is your favorite Pokemon hold item that is today's question of the day answer it in the comments mine is the lucky egg Anyway, uh, took down that uh, Drapion finally. And now we are battling this here Honchkrow. I think I'm going to uh, take this opportunity to um, bring back Dan. I'm not, I'm not going to bring back... Because I, I think Lantern actually lost to this Honchkrow before. So I'm going to bring back Dan so he, that he can be like, Ooh, ass punch on the Honchkrow. Because I don't think that Honchkrow can do anything to Dan. Unless it has, like, like flamethrower or something stupid like that. No, Honchkrow wouldn't have flamethrower. What would it have? It would have heat wave. That's what it would have. Heat wave. Because that's what Crobat had. Um, in uh, Pokemon Storm Silver, when I was fighting Koga, his Crobat had heat wave, which gave my Metagross fits. But anyway, Ice Punch... From Dan to Honchkrow, come on. Okay, all right. I didn't think it would knock him out, but I at least needed it to get in the yellow. Drill Peck will do some damage. Okay, it actually did a little bit more damage than I thought. Uh, Ice Punch again. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yay, super effective. Yes. Tower Tycoon Cyrus is about to send in Tyranitar, which is a rock slash dark type. So I'm going to stick with Dan for this one. Because, uh, yeah, fighting type, hey, rock slash dark is really freaking weak to fighting. He whips up a sandstorm, but that doesn't hurt Dan any because he's a steel type, and the sandstorm doesn't hurt steel, rock, or ground types. So there's the close combat, and looks like it worked. Did it work? I don't want. I didn't want it to be one of these. Like, oh, there's one HP left. Yeah, it worked. 
Sweet. Tyranitar fainted. There's so many times in this game I'm like, yes, I knocked him out, but it turns out they had like one HP left and I just couldn't see it. And he never gives me any money for, for battling him. Even freaking Zen Zolan in Volt White 2 gives me money for battling him. Very well, do what you will. You have fun getting out of here, Cyrus. <clears throat> All right, so I guess Cyrus wanted to like destroy the distortion world too. But now we can go meet the creator of the distortion world or the I don't know if he's the creator of the distortion world, but at least the inhabitant of the distortion world. I wonder what he does down here for fun. I mean, you just hang out in this distortion world all all the day, all day long. I mean, it's a weird place. I mean, I'm sure after a while you get used to it, but you think like you know, after a while you get bored. And like, man, I want to like, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what he does for fun, Giratina. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh. Oh, gia gua 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 ha. That's what he said, Giratina. Oh, look at this. A new path is opening up before me. Whoa, there he went. Did you see that? Oh, he's going to make me fight him on this little island here. Giratina is quietly eyeing Matt. That would be freaky if it wasn't a Pokemon doing that. Okay. The Distortion World's Giratina appeared at level 47. His level wasn't up like the others. If you notice, I have sped it up a little bit just so that we don't have to sit here through, you know, my, my whole, like, catching of Giratina. Because that can get boring just sitting there watching someone. I mean, I'm going to have to get his HP down, but then once I do, it's just like, oh, throwing Pokeball after Pokeball. Alright. Uh, this wasn't doing too much of anything. Uh, I'll have Foxy use Flamethrower. These water, fire type, type thing moves that I'm using aren't very effective, because he's a dragon type, so... This is uh, taking a little chance right there. Okay, that was super effective, because he's a ghost type too. One more payback, I think ought to do it. Oh! Oh, wow! I thought I knocked him out. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm just going to have to start chunking dusk balls at him. Because usually I like to... Whoa. Usually I like to... Uh, like use Thunder Wave or Stun Spore or some something like that to get him paralyzed or put him to sleep or something. But I don't have anything like that on my team. So... Yeah. I'm just going to have to try and catch him while he's still awake. Or not paralyzed. Giratina vanished instantly. Oh, and by the way, um... If you don't know, I'm still playing this on Desmumi. Um... I, I don't even remember what video it was. I want to say it was video, uh... 47? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was video 47, where I got to the top of Spear Pillar, and then when it showed, like, oh, Dialga and Palkia and everyone coming to life, I had to switch over to Desmumi, because for whatever reason, it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't play on Okash Shibie. So, yeah, I'm still using Desmumi right here, but, uh, for the next video, I'll switch back over to Okash Shibie. I think that's part of the reason why it took me so long to... to go through the distortion world because I was using Desmumi so I didn't have uh, that speed up that I usually get from no cash Arg almost had it mm. ominous wind Mm. 
No! What are you doing? Yeah, this is this is getting a little bit old. Just you know, oh dust ball, oh he broke free, oh dust ball, oh he broke free, oh dust ball, oh he broke free, oh dust ball, oh he broke free. I mean, it's just like wow. All right, Dan, dust ball. Oh 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 oh, shoot! It was so close to. Ah, uh, Jerry's gonna use Dragon Claw. Dust ball. This is the one. I can feel it. I can feel it. Wait. Oh wow! <laughs> I I promise you guys, I didn't I didn't know that that was gonna be it. Oh, uh, that was great! It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. Give a nickname to the caught Giratina? No, Giratina is transferred to box one in BB's PC. Oh look, it's the way back. What a weirdo. It's like yin and yang. You gotta have this to have like the awesome stuff. Yeah, I'll leap into the portal. I'm sorry, it's so very rude of me. Uh, I guess I'll go up here then. Let's see here, super repel. You super repel. Aha. Let's see, let's run around and just see what's around here. Send off spring, huh? It doesn't look like there's much of anything down there. And I'm back over here. Yeah. I like how I change clothes every time I use an HM. Okay, nothing here. Watch, I'm gonna change clothes to use this HM. Ooh, red hat! Alright, so I'll go down this way now. Yes, I would like to use Rock Climb. Watch my quick change again. And now I'm back to my white hat. Just like that. White, white, red, white. Spring path. And look where we are. We're here on Route 214. My, like... Oh, I hate this place. Okay, let's fly to... I think we're going to fly to uh, this place, Sanjim Town, because I think Rowan needs to talk with us or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll start using no cash again, so yeah. Bye!